Can you make a good roller coaster if you only have a 16 by 16 tail space? So because we do not have that much space, we are going to be using the single rail coaster. And let's place that all the way to the side of the park. And this is going to be a lounge single rail, going to be themed with a lot of rocks. And maybe even some like very cool buildings. So let's start with a simple turn and we're going to go all the way in the corner. And we of course do not have that much space, so we need to go up and down a lot. Let's start with some boosters, do something like that. And let's add a simple turn. And we are going to go up a lot and here we are and then we are just going to go very steeply down a little bit more than 90 degrees and now we're definitely going to go in the ground otherwise that's not going to work which also means i think we already need to start turning this a little bit because we have the plot of course right in front of us and let's then go up with this roller coaster and i have no idea where i'm now going but before we're doing that let's test this let's get in here let's have a look if we're probably going to go way too fast over this Oh, you know what? Actually, that is just perfect. Let's try to make some sort of inversion here. We, we definitely do not have that much space. But what if we create some sort of stall that sort of does something like that? And then you go down. So it's a uh, stall dive loop thing. Exactly. Which means we're, of course, also going in the ground again. Let's, uh, let's remove more of the terrain. Okay, now we have quite a big hole, as you can see. All right, let's continue with the coaster. Which I don't know what it's going to be doing right now. But as always... We're just going to be adding a few random turns and then hopefully it will work. I'm going to reveal, guys. I have no idea what I'm doing. And I don't think this is going to fit. Or may maybe it is. Yeah, you know what? I think this just is going to fit. But uh, let's just say not with a uh, with a big margin. <laughs> okay, and let's try to somehow go up here since I'm kind of already <laughs> not having enough space. Which is, um, let's say, not ideal. And I don't know where to go now since I basically do not have any space left anymore here so i might have to go back i don't know if this works but I'm, I'm going to try my best i guess i definitely feel like there's going to be some clearance issues between these turns but um, let's just say it fits okay let's add this turn that sort of goes back and then we somehow need to go i guess now just back to the station which luckily i've already put down the brakes since i had the feeling it will be quite tight so i hope i can just easily connect it right there and to be fair i might just do that and oh my god this looks like a big spaghetti ball all right well i am going to be testing it and seeing if it makes the whole coaster so of course we're going to up this sort of top hat we just make that that's very nice and then we have this stall which i hope we're actually going to make i've not tested it okay we do make that that's actually quite a nice speed then we go through whatever that inversion is named now we're probably on one of the faster parts and we have yeah that's maybe a bit rough but oh well and then we're already going in the brakes and time and you might ask what is the theme going to be i am planning to build some sort of like a mine shaft theme so some parts are going to be inside of a mountain some parts are going to be outside of the mountain so this is going to go like inside outside inside outside which i think can work very very good we of course well do not have that much space for the actual theming too but the coaster now actually works pretty nice i have added a small break down there because it was going way too quick for that and now we also just make it nicely into the break so i'm very happy with that so now that we have the roller coaster let's start working on the theming everything is probably just going to be this rock texture just to make it as easy as possible and i'm of course i'm going to be changing the colors of the roller coaster a little bit later so let's first add some sort of floor under the stage which then sort of goes around here and then here is also going to be like some sort of hole where the coaster comes out from i guess so you have to sort of see this is going to be like the the floor of just coaster and then everything under that is going to go inside of the mountain which of course now i'm doing this with terrain but we're going to be making fully custom rocks and for those rocks let's first make those since we of course got the copy and paste so i'm just going to be making a few rock formations and then we can start copying and pasting those over so for the rocks i want to use sort of these sort of thin long rocks wow, wow diamond that's incredible so i'm probably just going to spending a while just making these sort of rock formations that we can copy over and then i will be be right back all right here i got two rock faces and we're probably just going to be using that quite a lot here i also need to make like a mineshaft entrance i guess there we go i think the coaster should be able to fit through this okay so i've now sort of mapped out what is going to be above ground and what's going to be underground and this looks very strange Range. I do definitely agree. But uh, believe me, in the end, it's going to look amazing. Okay, so let's start placing some of these rocks. 
And this, of course, looks completely ugly. This just being open. So what I'm going to be doing to also add a little bit more greenery into this build. Otherwise, it's going to be all extremely gray. We're going to get a primitive. And we are going to be filling this in with leafy grass. And then on top of this grass, we can start adding maybe some small trees, some nature and everything. And I think if we add like sort of those plateaus everywhere, it can look pretty nice. It's definitely going to be quite a lot of work. But I think it will be worth it. Okay, so I've now done this little corner right here with all the rocks and of course a little bit of the grass on top we sort of get the point right now and i will have to do that for the whole 16 by 16 area which is just extremely boring so i'm going to skip all of that and i will be back once we're actually going to be placing maybe some nature and some actual props many months later all right here we are as you can see i have done a lot a lot of rocks and a lot of work and as you saw it took several months that is actually true it's now two and a half months later than the last recording i had some things in between so we're going to continue with it now but there's a lot of stuff that as you can see has happened the insides of like the caves are as you can see still empty same as all the way down here but it, <laughs> this has taken a long time but let's continue i have a few more plans that i want to build before i can call this build finished so the first thing that we need are of course some props and some things around i am going to be placing the supports a little bit later since i want to build sort of a wooden crane right here since of course this is sort of like a mine chef theme idea not entirely so i want to sort of build that up here so for that we will be needing some primitives so i'm going to start here with a wooden pole probably since i think i'm going to make this a, a wooden crane and then let's extend these to around i would say that height and let's copy the detail to both four of the sides there we go now we have sort of like the base of the crane and let's sort of extend this all around there so this is like the actual crane it's going to be an interesting one um yeah <laughs> probably going to make these like these extra lengths i think that's a smart idea yeah i think that's that's a good idea so that's where the cable is going to be on i'm just now going to probably add some more random detail to this i'm not really sure what i'm going to be doing but we'll we'll see how it's going to turn out i've made the tower a little bit smaller so the crane looks now i guess yeah a little bit better um we still need like something on the side like it, it's a bit empty so what if we add like a thing on the side here and if i just start to rotate that i think that can be pretty cool i don't know what it really would be but maybe to like have the cable inside there and let's then also add an edge to that and to this like this ladder let's add like these sort of crooked sort of lengths i think that looks very cool all right there we go now it actually starts to look like well something why am i already getting too many items at this point i this this get one more bolt let me place this well um th there's going to be one bolt not there now there's one thing left to do and that is the actual like cable and sort of like the platform it's sort of holding which is going to be right above the coaster so i now got the cable and sort of the platform that's going to be here now i need somehow connect that <laughs> <laughs> oh god and i think if i continue sort of this maybe a bit less there we go then make that a lot thinner just so it's the same as the rope let's rotate that around this here is just going to be a very easy block i don't really know what i'm going to be doing with that to make it look nice i think that's good enough and then the same on every corner for the rope that's well connecting there there we go now we have actually the crane and i'm quite happy with it so now that we got well this massive crane i'm not really sure what it's actually pulling that i might add it a little bit later but we need supports nature trees rocks uh, just a lot more stuff so let's just start i guess with the supports and i have already made a few of these and i actually have already the templates also right here so i'm probably just going to first place all of the well, the correct supports and then i'm going to actually well, detail them with these sort of connectors and the food is at the bottom but that's not too interesting so i might show a few but not everything also these supports are probably going to be quite standard i'm not going to spend too much time in them since it doesn't really matter you don't you barely see them and i'm not really sure i'm going to be placing the support here that's a good question i think something like that seems to work and then we're copying it over and then we're using it one more time kind of bright there so yeah now you can sort of see how the supports are then i will add like the necessary detail and stuff so i will be back once we're actually going to start placing some trees okay all the supports are in place and not gonna lie the coaster already starts to look a lot better i'm still not sure about this middle one if i want to keep that or not so it is sort of blocking the view but we are now going to be placing some nature and trees and about the trees i have asked my friend mega to make these he is a very talented builder he also has like a whole home page on my discord so make sure to follow that but he is going to be 
making like a custom alpine tree for me. While he's doing that, I am going to be placing all sort of like these rocks, yeah, grass, all that stuff. Since, well, as you can see, there's a lot of just these empty plots which need to be filled up with, well, some greenery. It's not too much. So from what I can see, what I mainly did is literally just get some of these grass blocks and some, well, stones and just place them around. It's not, it's not that detailed. I have to, of course, look out for the plot since I'm not allowed to place anything like that since, well, then it goes over the red line and then I have built the challenge. <laughs> but yeah, just placing a little bit of this greenery and between all of this, we can start to place some of these, well, more rocky things. Since it is, of course, very rocky, these mountains. So that hopefully starts to look quite nice. And then when the trees on top of this are there, I think it will look very nice. So that's now sort of the first bit done. I know some of these rocks are very, like, linear. But just imagine they have, like, mined it out like that. <laughs> now, let's also do all of this down here. And, well, yeah, there's a lot more to go. Of course, we will also be decorating the inside a little bit. But because it's everywhere quite dark, I'm not going to do it too much. Since you're in the ball. There's, there's literally nothing here. Well, this all this room. And let's have a look for the lines. Since, well, I'm not allowed to place there. And this, of course, would normally just well, continue. But since the ball was here, I made it just rock. So it looks at least a little bit nice. But I'm not allowed to place well, anything against it. And there's already too many items here. So it's definitely going to be fun putting the trees in some spots. Since I am scared this is going to say item limit quite a lot of times. And I think this here should be the last bit of at least grass. And then we need to place a lot more rocks around. But I hope this already starts to add a little, more, a little bit more like color variation through the build. And oh wow, that, that actually did quite a lot. Alright, let's do the same with all these rocks. And I will be back when <laughs> I've placed all of that. Okay, well all the grass and stuff has been placed. Um, Mega has finished his tree, which is looking very nice. I think this will fit perfectly. The only problem is it's 107 pieces. So I am going to be very curious if we are going to be allowed to place it over in a lot of spots. I don't want to place it everywhere, this tree. But I'm, I'm definitely scared that we're going to run into some item issues. But so far far it seems to work i hope i'm going to be allowed to place most of them but yeah i think like if you just play around with the most of the places i think it seems to be working and these trees are oh, dead it, it looks so good actually yeah as mega is saying it's actually a miracle that i'm able to place most of these trees and this has just changed the build instantly here we go all right so that actually looks so good with all these trees now in here this is for exactly how i was thinking of how it would look now there are still a few things that I need to do which I am not really looking forward to which one is the station I have made a mistake well the entrance is here the exit is here but where there's there's no way for the exit to go somewhere so yeah that's that's a problem and then inside of the mines I might need to place a little bit more detail since it is just very empty at the moment but I'm not really sure what to do in here I have added a little bit of rocks and well at least decorated this a little bit but yeah as you can see this here is just well, it's completely dark so it doesn't matter it too much but it's also not the best but let's start then with the station and the station is definitely going to be an interesting one since while well, the coaster here is on the side so i had to like sort of cut out this little part here i am looking at some pictures of like sawmills and i sort of have found this image which i actually really like so i'm going to try and make sort of a station like that so we are going to start with sort of the yeah poles and all these corners so this is sort of the house big the station is going to be it's definitely going to look a little bit weird since well this goes through there but oh well and i hope i am going to be able to fit the roof in here but it's it's definitely going to be quite tight it's not going to be perfect but i don't think it has to be but at least the poles seem to fit and i know the floor is not going to extend all perfectly but just imagine it does now let's extend these sort of poles that are going to be on the top there we go and that actually just seems to fit with the roller coaster by just like a centimeter now let's add that little bit of detail to well, also these things and if i rotate that around there we go and i hope if i now get these i should be able to basically paste them around yes i can perfect and now we sort of need like the, the beams that go across the roof and those are sort of laying on top of that and if we then get these planks and um, start to copy them oh i'm not sure how i want to do that this seems to be oh that seems to be actually quite nice so there we go keep the middle open that looks quite nice and then on top of here is going to be the little like hut so we're going to add a floor and then i would say the walls yeah look like that and then the same on the other side so we need the actual like roof over this yes mega i know it looks interesting but it's not finished yet so i would say this is the highest point of the roof 
Yes. Yeah, that looks nice. Then we're going to rotate. And then we need to somehow... Well, I fi oh, did I just did it first try? That was a lot easier than I was expecting, guys. And very easily, we can, of course, copy this wall also to the other side. There we go. And now it already starts to look a little bit better. And also on this side, since while well, the roof is going through it now, we don't want that. I hope, now that I'm looking at it, I can just steal this roof and put it up on here there we go already yeah that looks a lot better let's also actually try to do that maybe on the sides here oh that definitely made it a lot better and now i just need to do that for well, every single roof we have and i'm still not the biggest fan of the roof but we just don't really have like a good roof texture that's just the problem i, I can use wooden planks again but is that is that better it might be wait what if we used like the darker color yeah that definitely looks a little bit better okay for for now i think the station itself it's it's good enough. We definitely need a little bit of light in here. There we go. Now we got a bit of light. And I think now we are almost done. I'm just going to clean up the inside a little bit. And maybe add like some... Can we place maybe like some... I don't know. Just some gold crystals. Just for the, the fun of it. That also will add a little bit of light. So if we just add this. Not too many. Just like a very, very few. And let's even add one here on the wall. That's... Oh, that's pretty cool actually. Okay. Okay. And guys, I think that means we have finished the 16 by 16 themed roller coaster. So before we are going to do the POV, let's just have a quick look at what we have. Well, we have, of course, what we just made. This sort of house, which is supposed to be like a, maybe like a wooden shed where they store wooden stuff. But it looks like that. Then we have the first lounge into sort of this mine shaft, which looks all right. We go all the way up on the top head to our very amazing looking crane. I'm actually really happy with it. Then we have the big drop going well through the forest where you can see there's already a fallen tree. And you have this massive sort of yeah, stall into a dive loop that goes again in the cave where we see all these gold sort of things. We go out and then we have like this waterfall which also still looks very nice. I know it's not real water but on this scale that's not really possible. Then you go again in the cave and then you shoot out of the ground then you go again in the cave. It's just a lot of like in, out and just all that stuff and well then you go into the break. I am really proud of myself that I made this since a 16 by 16 roller coaster this themed. I've never done it and well it has taken quite a long time and uh, it, it looks amazing from basically like every single angle. It, it just looks really really cool. But there's of course one final thing to do guys and that's the POV. guys i think this perfectly shows what's actually possible with the copy and paste tool wow it's just like look at the coaster going through this and just all of the rocks all of the trees everything is mainly just copy and paste but on just a smaller scale and it just looks incredible doesn't it guys so i want to thank you for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed this and please leave a like and subscribe on my channel since this video has taken a very 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 long time so guys i will say as always good Bye.